No way. This can't be. No. Your sister, she's... I'm sorry, but you need to listen. I couldn't save her, and I'll never forgive myself for it. There's nothing we could have done. Chiyo was already dead when you brought her in. She had been. For a while. Hey! Are you okay? He was dead. From the shop. Chiyo? I... No. No, it can't... Time you need. Push it, as long as it takes. The other, without mist, hers at fault, deserved all. Still, I... Sorry about invented the big coward bears evil. Such a good student victim. Regrettable. We will remains. Him, Runeko?
Of course. Perty. You go. All too trapped. Assured, I will. Deserves. Hey, Vice Pres. I thought you said you were going to protect her. Don't you dare break your promise, no matter what. Keep up the fight. Don't let this world get the best of you. <laughs> and here I feared you'd fall back into fragile facadehood. That Chio got caught in this mess. Even I rue that fact, I confess. Uh. The reversal of time has disposed of the mist, and yet the distortions have yet to desist. They're piling up with no sign of suspension in the tiny confines of this pocket dimension. The other world called with no mist, undeterred, for the border between the realms have blurred. The distortions won't just go away, as much as you'd prefer it that way. But disable the barrier and the distortions will disseminate, decreasing their density. Do so, and the danger will dissipate. Method aside, the barrier must go away. Lest the distortions claim even more lives as prey. I'm sure you wouldn't raise an objection to me giving a hint in the right direction. What you make of that little clue is up to fate, as well as you. Are you all right? There's no shame in crying, but you don't have to force it either. Just don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Miss Sora and Mr. Yugo are making sure Chios attended to. But we can't have a funeral for her until the barrier's gone. I wanted to share something with you. It was recorded on Chio's phone. Take a listen, once you've had some time to recover. Everyone in the TSC came to check on you while you were unconscious. Why don't you go let them know how you're doing? Being the only one in the infirmary feels lonelier and emptier than ever. <laughs> 